AFL Telecommunications, an industry-leading manufacturer of communications products and services for more than 20 years, is proud to introduce a new and unique cable sealing technology called Peel and Seal. This new cable sealing technology is designed to save our customers time and money in the field by reducing closure preparation when compared to traditional cable sealing methods. This video is being provided as a quick reference guide and training tool to demonstrate the proper installation techniques used with AFL's new peel and seal cable sealing technology. Using a small blunt object or your fingernail, depress the pressure pin within the valve to release any pressure from the closure. Unlock and remove the V-band by lifting the tightening handle. Loosen the nut on the screw a few turns if it is too tight to open. Pull the clamp barrel out from the handle so that the clamp handle is separated from the nut and bolt. Spread the band apart and remove it from the base. With the dome secured, remove the base and frame section by pulling out. Remove the O-ring from the base and place it to the side. Completely loosen all the bolts securing the C-half section on the express side of the closure with a 216 tool or similar. Remove the C-half section side from the express side of the base. Repeat this step for the branch or drop side of the base. Note that it may be necessary to rock the C-half section back and forth to break the seal for removal. Next, using a 216 tool or similar, completely loosen the bolts on the cable clamps in the positions that will be occupied. Remove the clamps from their seats. Note that it may be necessary to rock the cable clamp back and forth to break the seal for removal. Remove the peel and seal grommets from the cable clamps. Using the lubricant provided, apply a light layer to all of the white areas of the C-half sections, cable clamps, and O-ring. Place these prepared units in a clean area away from the closure and splice. Per local practice, remove the outer cable materials to expose the buffer tubes. Remove all spacer tubes and trim the cable strength member, leaving approximately 6 inches of the cable strength member exposed. Position the cable within the closure so the ring cut is flush with the edge of the cable sheath clamp bed. Mark the strength member at the clamp center stop for proper trim length. Using side cutters, trim the strength member at the mark to its proper length. Repeat this procedure with all cables to be installed. Next, place the band mic, a diameter measuring tool, around the cable and pull the narrow end through the slot. Pull the band snug and note the number indicated at the arrow. This will determine how many layers are to be peeled away from the grommet to properly seal the cable within the base. Peel away the layers as indicated by the band mic. Repeat this procedure with each cable and grommet set. Wrap the prepared grommets around the cable and squeeze the grommet with one hand. If the ends of the split come together, then the proper number of sealing layers have been removed and the cable is ready to be installed. Be sure that both inner and outer grommets of each cable have been checked in this manner. If the split of the grommets do not come together as described, simply peel one more sealing layer away. Check the fit before continuing. Repeat this procedure with all grommets and cables. Apply a light layer of lubricant around the flanges of each grommet and place them in a clean area away from the closure. Locate the Allen wrench supplied with the closure. Unscrew and remove the cable strength member clamp from the closure. Locate a strain relief half grommet. If necessary, peel away layers of the grommet so the cable will sit level with the peel and seal grommets when tightening down the cable strength member. Repeat this procedure with all cables.
Place the strain relief half grommet on the hose clamp bed and reinstall the lower part of the cable strength member clamp in its seat. Position the grommets around the cable with the larger flanges facing outward from the cable clamps. Place the cable assembly into the sealing grooves. Make sure that the grommet flanges fit easily into the grooves. The cable strength member is now sitting in its proper location on top of the cable strength member clamp. Replace the top piece of the clamp and tighten the screw loosely. Pull the cable towards the cable strength member clamp until the cable strength member is in contact with the stop tab. Tighten down the cable strength member clamp completely. Make sure that the grommets are positioned on the cable with the splits facing up. The splits in the grommets should be rotated 45 degrees from each other. This will ensure a perfect seal. Position the cable clamps over the grommets and cable assembly. Tighten the bolts using a crisscross method, a few turns at a time. This will ensure the cable clamp is tightened down uniformly. Torque the bolts to proper specification. The top edge of the cable clamp should be level with the surrounding base surface. Repeat the procedure with all remaining cables. Install a hose clamp around the cable and bed at the cable's ring cut. Engage the hose clamp a few turns. With the hose clamp still loose, place the cable retention clamp between the hose clamp and cable with the tabs pointing into the closure. Tighten the hose clamp completely. Repeat this procedure with all remaining cables. Refer to the closure installation instructions and your local practices and complete the splicing and routing of fibers within the closure and splice trays. Replace the C half sections. Begin tightening the bolts using a crisscross method, a few turns at a time, until the C half section is properly seated. Torque the bolts to proper specification. After both C half sections have been installed, Place the O-ring on the base flange with the rounded side facing into the closure. The dome and base feature strand hanger standoffs. These standoffs should be positioned on the same side of the closure for a proper seal. Replace the V-band around the base and dome flanges. Position the clamp barrel within the handle, then push the handle down until it snaps to create a seal. If the band is loose, tighten the lock nuts until the handle easily snaps down. Your closure installation is complete. For product support or inquiries relating to other AFL telecommunications products, please contact AFL Customer Service or your local sales representative, or you can visit us online at afltele.com.